to my channel so this is the second video in the hair growth series and today I will be talking to you about how you can take care of your hair when it is at the mid back length stage or brass drop length so let's dive right into it if you haven't checked out the very first video feel free to do so it will speak about how you can take care of your hair when it is in the teeny weeny afro stage so now for tip number one the first thing that you need to do is ensure that you are super duper gentle with your hair strands because now your hair is longer right so it's obvious that you have three sections the root which is very dense highly textured and is it's the newest part of your hair the middle section which is in between the old and the new and your hair ends how you take care of this will either make or break your hair and I mean that literally so pay attention so when you're detangling your hair right it's a rule of thumb to never ever detangle dry hair so ensure that you moisturize your hair prior to detangling and I no longer use combs but if you are going to go in with combs right instead of combing out your hair with this small one or the rat tail comb use a wide tooth comb okay your hair will thank you for it so the main aim is to minimize the amount of breakage you get that's the key to retaining length and given that the ends are the oldest parts of your hair you have to be super gentle with them and you also will have to moisturize them a bit more often than the other parts of your hair because for some of us or most of us our hair ends are higher in porosity compared to like the rest of our hair here so it tends to dry out faster yeah so you want to ensure that you are always moisturizing them and that you are super duper gentle with your hair so what did I do right to minimize my knots my and the breakage that I experienced I kept my hair in twists and braids and right now I'm still even though I'm at waist length I'm still wearing them because protective styles are just awesome and they really protect your hair and your ends so I also took care of my hair while it was in the protective style so I don't just put my hair in plaits or braids and then abandon it for the next week or two no 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 you can't do that you have to ensure that you don't allow your hair to dry out because what dry hair breaks breakage equals to less length retention and if you're not retaining the length you're not gonna see the growth so yeah be mindful of that as well you can also wear braids like the actual ones with added hair you can do buns but be very mindful when you're doing buns you can do twist out braid outs, anything that will help to stretch your hair because when your hair is stretched it will minimize the amount of knots that you get I also started to wash my hair in sections so that's tip number two three a number I don't remember <laughs> but it's a tip it's a tip so wash your hair in sections I couldn't wash my hair like you know I don't know the word I can't find the word the word has escaped me but you know instead of just going under the shower and washing your hair in its loosened natural state mm -mm, I had to start washing it in sections because that was a natural disaster and the perfect recipe for nuts so I would section off my hair in four or eight parts when it was at my back or at least the middle of my back and I would go in and wash those individual sections and it took it took 
some time to get used to it because yeah wash days got a bit longer but it was really worth it because i had less breakage less knots of course and it was just easier to handle my hair so that's what i did and there was a point in time when my hair ends would just like literally just come off and just break off because as i mentioned before taking care of your hair ends is extremely important if you want to retain length and i wasn't doing that at the time so i paid the price i don't want you guys to pay that price so please i beg you don't neglect your hair ends you can put i put shea butter on them that keeps them moisturized for longer like just the shea butter sometimes i'll use a little liquid but not too much because then my hair would shrink up and then you know more nuts i would not want that so yes i also started to finger the towel at this stage and changed my life granted it takes a lot of time but it's really worth it I saw an increase in the thickness of my hair and it was very very obvious finger detangling took a long while and I wasn't focusing on having like super super straight hair I just wanted to remove the knots so I am going to do a very quick demonstration of how I finger detangle my hair but until I lose this off just remember what I mentioned before so okay so this is my hair right yes, this is it so it's a bit curly here it's curly right now but my main aim is to have like super straight hair. I would just feel for I'm gonna come closer. I would feel for knots and I usually start it at the end of my hair, at the literal hair ends, because they usually get more knots than the rest of my hair and the root. So I would feel for knots and all just use my hands and feel for any knots and then I would slowly move up and then once I don't feel any I would do this and once the hair divides easily then I know that alright no knots and I'm good to go so yes that's really it I don't spend a lot of time anymore to finger detangle because I understand how to do it I got better at doing it and as I said before I don't need to have super duper straight hair I just want to remove the knots and any shed hair that may cause future knots as well so that is really it for the video so remember be patient with your hair love your hair at every stage and journal I mentioned that in the first video and it's super duper important you don't want to have a complicated routine you want something that's simple and easy for you to do and you don't need a bag of products to take care of your hair so be mindful of that as well so thank you for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button as yet you know click on it for a sister yeah and i will see you in part three so take care Good